Well, so in this session, we are going to learn complexes with coordination number 6. When we are saying the coordination number 6, then that complex should be consisting of 6 monodented ligands or 3 bidented ligands. Coordination number 6 means there has to be 6 coordinate bond which is attached with central metal atom through ligands. So, in case of coordination number 6 student, you will see there are two different types of hybridization. One hybridization is D2SP3 and another hybridization is what SP3D2. So, in this case, if you will see, when I am saying D2SP3, so this D or orbital is involved from the inertia. And in case of sp3d2, the d orbital is involved from outer shift. So, hybridization, again, when we repeat, so hybridization is what it is. d2sp3, d2sp3. Here, the d orbital which is involved is nd. Sorry, it should be n minus 1d. The d orbital is what? It should be n minus 1d. Means this is the d orbital which involved from penultimate shell. When I am saying n minus 1, that is penultimate shell. So if the d orbital is involved from the inner shell or penultimate shell, so this type of complex in science is referred as inner orbital complex. So, how to identify inner orbital complex? For all coordination number 6 complexes, if the hybridization is D2SP3, so when we write D2SP3, so the D orbital is taken from the penultimate shell, that is second last shell or you can say inner shell. And if inner shell D orbital is involved in the hybridization, so this is referred as inner orbital complex. In short, we can write I.O.C which indicates inner orbital complex. But for coordination number 6, there can be another type of hybridization which is sp3d2. If it is sp3d2, then the orbital, the d orbital involved from the valence shell. See, as the n number indicates, if it is n minus 1, it is penultimate shell and if it is n, so it is valence shell. If the orbital, the d orbital used from the valence shell, then this type of the complex is referred as orbit outer orbital complex. It is outer orbital complex and in short we can write O orbital outer orbital complex. So please remember for all Complexes with coordination number 6, if the inner d orbital involved, in short, it is referred as inner orbital complex and if the outer d orbital involved, this complex is referred as outer orbital complex. Here, the inner and outer is the name given on the basis of the type of d orbital involved. Let's check some example of this. Student, if you will see, the example which I have taken over here is, there is cobalt metal. And it is attached with 6 fluoride ion. So, because of this 6, if you will see, it is called as hexa. Fluoride is negative ligand. So, the name will be hexa fluoride. It is a negative complex. So, it is 8. Suffix will come. So, the name is hexa fluoride. Cobalt 8. 3. There is a charge onto this complex. So, it is referred as what? Ion. So, entire name is hexa fluoride cobalt 3 ion. If you check the charge of this cobalt, cobalt is taken as x. Halogen is minus 1. So, this will be x plus minus 1. This should be multiplied with the number of ligand that is 6. And the entire charge is minus 3. So, here the x will be plus 3. That is remain in the Roman numbers. So, for this complex, if you will see, the coordination number is 6, means the total coordinate bond which is formed is what 6, the ligand is F minus and for this denticity is what 1, so it is monodented ligand. But we know that carbon and nitrogen donor ligands are strong ligands, 
halogens are in the category of what weak field ligand it's a weak field ligand fluoride is weak field ligand let us check the atomic number of central metal atom this atomic number of central metal atom is what 27 and if you write the configuration it is 4s2 3d7 i have written the outer orbital also 4p and 4d in order to decide whether it is inner orbital complex or outer orbital complex so since it is cobalt 3 plus in elementary state the charge of the cobalt is zero if it loses three electron the charge will be three plus so can i say cobalt is undergoing a process of oxidation half reaction as it loses three electrons so loss of three electron so there should be first electron loss from 4s so this 4s will become zero and there should one more electron loss that is from 3d so this 3d will become what six so the new configuration will be 4s zero And 3d6. If 3d contains six electron, so there has to be how many unpaired electron? We can count it. There are four unpaired electrons. Now about this complex, student, if you will see, this complex, the ligand which is present is F minus. That is fluoride. Fluoride is weak field ligand. It's a weak field ligand. For weak field ligand, it do not cause pairing of electron so what will happen to this unpaired electron will it paired or not since f minus which is combining with the cobalt is a weak field ligand and this weak field ligand cannot cause the pairing of electron so this unpaired electron will remain same so even in the cobalt 3 plus ion there is the number of unpaired electron is what 4 now if you will see student here the coordination number of this complex is 6 since there is 6 coordination number and this complex should form 6 coordinate bond see each bond contains two electrons to fill two electron one vacant orbital is required so if there is coordination number 6 so the number of the bond will be what 6 6 vacant orbitals are required so if 6 vacant orbitals are required so we will take one orbital from 4s three orbital from 4p and two orbital from 4d so if i am mixing these orbital one from 4s three from 4p and two from 4d then mixing of these orbital will form six hybridized orbital and the six hybridized orbital involve mixing of outer d orbital that is d orbital from the valence shell so the hybridization should be it is s p 3 d 2 now the question is that why the hybridization is s p 3 d 2 because it involve mixing of 1 s that is from 4 s 1 s orbital 3 p orbital and 2 outer d orbital now if you will see f minus that is the weak ligand the density is what one it is mono dented ligand so if i am taking one f minus ion so it is going to rent one lone pair of electrons but the fluorine which is associated is what six so it is going to give if it is six f minus so it is going to donate how many electrons Yes, six lone pair. So six lone pair again. Even if you take six f minus, the density will remain C. So six lone pair will require how many vacant orbital? Six. So sp three d two hybridization provides how many vacant orbital? So this orbital will be what? Six vacant orbital. So in the six vacant orbital, you have to fill six. Lone pair, six lone pair means how many electrons? Twelve electrons. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Once it has become half filled, we'll start to do the pairing of electrons. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Please remember these are the electrons given only by the ligands. So ligands gives electron to vacant orbital of the central metal atom. So 
overall if you see the electronic configuration of this complex so this is the orbital of cobalt 3 plus ions and these are the electrons of cobalt 3 plus ions which is present in the inner d orbital but if you see this orbital is completely filled and these electrons are given only by ligands so on this observation let us try to solve this simple question student hybridization which involve over here is 1s orbital 3p orbital and 2 outer d orbital so the hybridization will be sp3 d2 now what type of the complex it is since the d orbital which is involved is taken from the valence shell so it will be outer the word will be what outer orbital complex because the orbital which is involved is what nd where n is indicating the orbital of the valence shell now if you check total unpaired electron in this complex so this is the number of the unpaired electron 1 2 3 4 there are four unpaired electron now we know how to calculate the magnetic moment it is n n plus 2 where n is the number of unpaired electron so this if you'll keep 4 4 plus 2 so this answer will be root of 24 and if you'll solve it the shortcut that we can use if there is a four unpaired electron you just have to add 0.8 so 4 0.8 is the approximately value of magnetic moment this is 4.8 bohr magneton since there is unpaired electron so the magnetic nature it will be what paramagnetic we say any complex as paramagnetic only if it is containing unpaired electrons so hybridization in this case hexa chloride cobalt 3 ir it is sp3d2 since d orbital is involved from the outer shell so it is outer orbital complex and for all coordination number 6 and sp3 d2 or d2 sp3 the complex geometry will be octahedral so when you are saying it is octahedral complex so there will be central metal atom which is present at the center like cobalt 3 plus and it will be surrounded by six coordinate bond and this six coordinate bond is formed by f minus so this geometry of the complex should be what octahedral